Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Thursday, January 13th, 2022. Well, yesterday, honestly, was a little bit of a surprise to me after having a um, very high reading on inflation, and the market just doesn't care. Um, we had a little bit of choppiness, Broke some resistance levels in the chart. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Kind of an interesting circumstance yesterday, at least I felt it was, you may not feel the same, that um, we just don't care about inflation. Um, interestingly enough, the inflation rate came in at 7% year over year. The month over month with a, was a little bit less hot, but um, we're looking at that year over year continuing to rise. And unfortunately, um, actual incomes are falling behind by more than 2% of that inflation rate. But somehow we found that to be a bullish um, report yesterday and we continued to rally. So yesterday, notice that I've got this resistance line right here in the chart and we danced around that. We pushed up and pulled back and chopped around in here, but we ended up surging at the end of the day, pushing us back up above that resistance level in the chart. And lo and behold, we have bulls pushing here this morning, trying to um, put a positive spin on the market here this morning as we head into another refl um, inflation report today. So let's keep in mind, what do we have going on here? We actually could be setting up a consolidation zone in the diamonds. We could be drifting through this area and Remember, at any time we see this little wedging pattern right here, we have that uh, chance that we could drift sideways here or we could actually pull back into that upside trend here in the Dow. So right now, I still have to give this up to the bulls. The bulls are very, very uh, aggressive here. Nothing seems to matter, just buy, 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 and watch this up here. We certainly are within striking distance of breaking this last resistance here in the chart, and then we have clear space to maybe attack the all-time highs here in the diamonds. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, just a touch more of a challenge in here, but we did break through that resistance here in the chart. Noticing, and I think this is important, that we've done this a couple of times and we're not able to hold that but yesterday we hang hang on um, uh, came back actually right at the end of the day with a big surge right at the end of the day so we're holding up here above that resistance in the chart continuing to extend this market higher and our next level above I'm gonna grab this line right here and just slide it up our next level above would be right in this area where we have that next little resistance area that may challenge us and I may have pushed that just a little tiny high but right in here, somewhere in here, we have that next area of resistance. So it is also possible that we could maybe slip into a little bit of a consolidation, or we could range around in this area as we continue to complete this little wedging pattern that we see in the chart. So keep that in mind. We are within striking distance of moving on up here and attacking highs in the market. Let's take a look at the QQQ. Unfortunately, the QQQ has a little bit more work to do here, noticing that we still have this downtrend in play here on the NASDAQ, and we have a considerable level of price resistance here in the chart up in this zone right in here I see a resistance level right through here and we did resist at that level yesterday although we did move higher on the day so kind of keep in mind that we are still officially in a downtrend here in the Nasdaq and we have some work in this chart yet to do um, watch that carefully as we uh, slide over here toward this downtrend or move up into these resistance resistance areas in the chart. We also want to keep in mind that the QQQ remains underneath its 50-day moving average. And as we rally up there, it's important to take note that that 50-day moving average is showing us a little bit of uh, concern um, flattening out 
and our short-term averages down through that area. So that creates a bit of a resistance zone right here in the NASDAQ that we'll want to be watching carefully. And then let's take a look at that Russell. Now our Russell didn't, IWM, didn't move through to the upside yesterday. As a matter of fact, left behind a bit of a dark cloud or bearish candle. Here on the day. Let's keep in mind IWM is still officially in a downtrend, though we haven't been able to officially make a new low in IWM. We have these lower highs and we continue to struggle in here. So keep in mind in this chart, if we if we draw this wedging pattern, we could dance around in here for quite a while in the Russell. So watch that carefully. And if we do rally, just keep in mind, we have about a year's worth of resistance up there to um, you know, just provide some uncertainty and congestion in that chart. And we are still below our 50 and 200 day moving average. And notice here, a couple more days, we might have that 50 drifting down below the 200 day here in the Russell. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our VIX. Surprisingly, the VIX um, with the back and forth and everything that we had yesterday, the VIX continued to decline just slightly and it really got um, busy with the decline right at the end of the day, right at that last minute surge into the market. So let's keep in mind here in this chart, we continue to diminish um, as if we have no fear on the market. Yet it is a little bit curious that as we push up here and we're getting uh, close to those breakout levels and new record highs in the market, it is curious that we're still holding up here relatively high. We haven't even been able to break this low yet. Um, in the the VIX chart. So keep a close eye on that. It may be a little bit of complacency building into the market here. We'll want to keep, keep an eye on that just in case we suddenly decide to care about some of these um, internal measures of the market. Now remember, um, there's a lot of anticipation about um, the beginning of earnings. And remember, we've got those big bank earnings on Friday. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's take a look at our T2108. Now, I got to tell you, our T2108 um, is kind of interesting in here in the fact that we are holding some support. So I have to give this up to the bulls. We're holding some support levels. And although we have fewer and fewer stocks participating to the upside, at least we're holding on to some to some support levels in here in the chart. And largely, I think that's due to a recovery of um, defensive sector stocks, safety plays coming up off the lows. A lot of rotation has moved into those over the neck over the last uh, couple three weeks, and picked up a lot of those stocks off of the bottom. So what we're seeing is that move back up in here, and we're holding some support. So if those bulls can continue to push through, we need to see um, a downtrend break here. We need to see a little bit more bullish price action to push us up about 46% of our stocks above the 40 day moving average. If we take a look at T2107, T2107 also just that little hint that we might be seeing some improvement here in the market. Notice that we're holding above some support in this chart, yet we still have this downtrend that we um, still need to get over. And although that we held right here yesterday, only about 42% of our stocks above the 200 day moving average. So we'll still want to watch that closely. If we were to fail here, that could be a problem. What we want to see is that breaking out, holding and moving up for that bullish market. So watch that closely here on T2107. And then T2101, our market breadth, our market breadth declined rather sharply yesterday. And we're dropping right back down here into this low area. And that's typically what we see on a very, very bullish market. We have that market breadth uh, pulling back and pulling back dramatically. And that's what we have here. So we've dropped below that support level in the this chart and we've dropped back into that um, downtrending wedge here that we have. So it is possible we could remain bullish here in the market and just continue to wind this around for a period of time, continuing to fill out this wedge. But let's watch that closely. If we do get any kind of bearish move in here, that could spike up pretty quickly. So watch that close. And then our T2108 
T2122. Um, this was interesting um, in the fact that on Monday, on Monday we were right down here, just about ready to drop into the uh, bullish reversal zone. And then we had that big reversal on Monday following through with a big spike on Tuesday. And yesterday um, with our pop-up, we were right up in here. We pushed right up here to about a 97, 98 reading on T2122. But with that volatility that we saw throughout the day, pulling back just enough, we slipped back under that area. So what that means here on um, T2122 is if we find reason for bullishness today, if these reports continue to inspire those buyers to come in, we still now have some upside opportunity here in the market before we reach kind of a really oversold, I mean overbought condition on that short term. And of course, if we find this all or nothing market, if we find those bears re-engage for some reason today, we have opened up a big downside opportunity as well. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, it's kind of an all or nothing market right now with these big price swings, making it very, very dangerous for retail traders. Let's take a look at our economic calendar uh, for today. Now our economic calendar, what I've been alluding to throughout this video is we've got some data coming here this morning. We've got jobless claims coming in here before the bell and we have PPI coming in here before the bell. Now keep in mind we had Asian markets trading mix last night and we have European markets really flat. They are con Europe is more concerned about our inflation rate than we are. And yet here this morning, we have futures this morning pumping to the upside, looking for um, more bullishness to the upside um, as we head into these numbers. So watch this closely. We still run those very high risk of big whipsaws and um, those um, potential moves as we press these resistance levels where we get that pop and drop type pattern, pattern where we'll gap up and then reverse and move to the downside. So those are still high risk areas in here with very little price support below in the current price action. So kind of keep that in mind. And then we've got some Fed speakers here today. Um, three of them as you can see one here and then some this afternoon we've got a natural gas report report nobody cares about and we don't care about the fed balance sheet um so uh, no problems um there keep in mind as you're planning forward friday could be a really interesting day um retail sales as we know is a big market mover we'll want to keep an eye on that one we've got industrial production numbers as a market mover as well one that i always think that is one of my favorite um, to kind of gauge the sentiment of the market is this one right here, that consumer sentiment. Rather than consumer confidence, I find this to be probably the most um, useful number for me on that sentiment reading. So keep an eye on that around uh, 10 a.m. Um, Eastern tomorrow. And then remember, we've got big bank earnings tomorrow beginning. We've got BlackRock, Citibank, JP Morgan, and Wells Fargo all reporting tomorrow morning before the bell. So, hey, your guess is as good as mine. Um, get ready for some price volatility as we head into Friday and the beginning of a new earnings season. Let's take a look on our earnings calendar today. Interesting day today. We have quite a few companies listed on the calendar, but um, very few of those are verified. And of those that are verified, most of them are very, very small, small cap companies. So not much here on the notables today. However, we will get a report from Delta Airlines. Let's keep an eye on that. Looks like Delta's trying to push up here in the pre-market. Keep an eye on that one. Delta will be reporting to, uh, today. And then we're we're going to have TSM also reporting. It looks like they've already reported a good report and moving up strongly. Semiconductor is obviously very strong 
as we run into or continue to struggle with these chip shortages here in the market. So keep in mind, we're pushing up here toward these highs in TSM. Watch that one close. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful, if you could also do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons, leave a comment. I know it's a pain in the neck. I get it. But it really helps support the channel and it helps support the effort that goes into putting these videos out every day. And I hope you guys see something different here, something that you may not see in other places. And that is... I avoid all of the hype and all the prediction. I just want to look at the charts and see if I can gain some information about how I might want to approach the market for today. And if you find that to be useful, please support it with a, um, a, a quick comment. Even an emoji helps a lot. So thank you everyone who does take the time to do that. And also, if you're not a member of Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options and would like to help support this content, just um, look below the title of the video. There's a link called Buy Me a Coffee and you can support the channel there. And I do appreciate it. I reinvest all that money back into the production of these videos and training videos. So it's not something I'm collecting here for myself. Um, so keep that in mind. Everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all um, a, um, a fantastic day in your trading. And how about we look at some of these um, stocks that could be setting up. I want to caution you with the elevation that we have in the market to just be a little bit careful. If you do decide to trade, maybe trade smaller than normal positions. And when you do see those profits come in, don't be afraid to grab them early, take them out, cash out with the volatility that we've seen in the market. And knowing that we've got earnings season starting uh, tomorrow, it could be a very volatile day. So let's take a look at some of these stocks. Uh, first off, I had mentioned um, some of these defensive sector stocks yesterday, and I was talking about um, how they have just been really, really strong. Take a look at Mondelez here. Very strong looking pattern here, breaking through resistance. This is a good strong Divi pair, looking nice in this trend. We're sliding out here toward that trending area, right where we might find some buyers stepping up. So keep a close eye on that. That might be a pretty decent trade to be watching here pretty closely. Take a look at Hershey. Hershey had a really nice move yesterday, pushing up in this chart. Notice right in here, little morning star pattern, holding off of that trend, holding off of support in here. That's looking pretty good. It may still need a couple more days of rest in here, but another good strong Divi payer showing lots of strength to the upside. So keep a close eye on some of those defensive sector stocks. They're really um, doing quite well. And that would show that uncertainty in the tech area where we have this big rotation from institutions moving in here. Remember, we don't, retail traders don't move a stock like Hershey. It's institutional money that moves a stock like Hershey. So keep an eye on that. There is that rotation happening in these charts. Now, I also have to mention, you guys know that I had mentioned FCX, and oh my goodness, that thing took off like a rocket. Um, up yesterday went really, really well. So congratulations to those who may have got into um, a trade like that. Watch that carefully. Um, because we move so quickly, so fast, I would expect a consolidation or even a pullback, but watch carefully for that next opportunity in the trade. And keeping in that same theme of metals, take a look at U.S. Steel. U.S. Steel starting to move up nicely in this trend, breaking through some resistance. Now, clearly, we have some resistance in this chart to be concerned about still, but we've got a nice little bullish move, and this was quite the reversal to the upside, gap and move to the upside. So watch that carefully here on U.S. Steel. And I was checking out other steel companies like MT. Oh my goodness, look at this. Just ripping to the upside, breaking out a um, lot, of, lot of energy in steel. Take a look at um, 
steel dynamics pushing up off of this low still in a downtrend so this thing's got some work to do here before it gets very bullish but it might be worth keeping an eye on just because we see those other metals moving pretty strongly and i think it'd be remiss um, if i don't mention this move in silver that's coming up now silver and gold have been really problematic um, really frustrating honestly um, considering an inflationary market but today we've got um, a little bit of bond movement back to the upside so keep an eye on um, our bond yields on um, bonds are moving down bond yields are moving up um, um, SLV watch this area right here if that could pop through there and maybe hold above some support in the chart silver might be starting to come around keep an eye on it gold continues to just be a little bit problematic underneath this resistance area here notice that we still have this big long downtrend here in gold not much happening there but what I will draw your attention to is notice that as we have been struggling in this downtrend notice these lows are getting higher and higher and higher so we're putting some pressure here on this gold market can't say whether or not we're going to break through that resistance but we we need to uh, break through and hold that before I get very bullish on GLD watch that closely may start to come around here eventually and then let's take a look at some other stocks um, out there um, as you guys know um, I had mentioned Merck um, a week ago that has rallied and done a really nice job and what I like about this chart right now is I think it's setting up again pushing up strongly pushing through that resistance in the chart little resting pattern in here that sets up another opportunity to the upside so keep a close eye there on Merck so with that guys hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for being here I do appreciate it have an awesome day and I wish you all great profits take care everyone see you bright and early Friday morning